Hello, Jesse Good here, and we are at Atlanta Brick Co. in Atlanta, Georgia. I almost said Atlantic, and I'm like, the goes to show I'm such a Floridian. But this place is, just a, it looked like a little tiny building of, of Lego, but stepping inside, oh my gosh, I'm in heaven. <laughs> so I just kind of want to give a tour because this place looks awesome. Okay, so seems like they have some out of the box built sets at the front here. Hey, UCS Star Destroyer. They also have some custom pieces, and more out of the box stuff. Got the Gungan sub over there. Ooh, 2013 Arkham. That's pretty good too. 60 for that whole build. Huh. Okay. This really gets me because I love sealed blind bags. And there's some discontinued ones here. It's got to get done eventually. We also got some of the newer series, DC. And lots of out of the box CMFs. And, you know, I, I always feared these places would have ridiculous prices, but I'm very impressed. The prices here are extremely reasonable. Definitely check this out if you're in the Georgia area. It's a bunch of Series 18. And, um, some sealed boxes at the back for some of some more recent sets. And then for some older ones. Even the 2009 carousel. Oh, that's one I miss out on. Some more out of the box stuff over here. Even some cars the main slave one and stuff like that. In the same shop that's in, the second in DC2, of course, uh, Batman uh, movie 2. Well, okay, so they don't pay anything. Lots of poly bags. I'm going to be probably digging through this a little bit. <laughs> I'm trying to see if there's any that don't have. Group key came for 5. The old GM about it, and he's. I said, Why is it? You know, I think they have oh my gosh, 90s world. That's so cute. Like this one. Some stuff from Battlebrook. No, <laughs> they even have free instructions. That's so cool. Super rare ones or anything I need. And it looks like a lot of more recent stuff. They are the world's largest building brick toy store. That's crazy. Some more rare stuff over here. <laughs> yeah, this store is a tree. It's something else. Yeah, we decided while we were up here, we may as well like do something else because otherwise it would just been that one place. But this is a lot more than I was ready for. They have the, the Rio 2016 stuff. So, uh, I, 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 I like more on Facebook and I see like occasionally, so I would have thought maybe it was like that much of it. <gasps> Paradisa. Like, there's all this. So this is a lot. Seventy bucks for Mini's birthday. That's tempting if it's sealed. Your tour done, Justin? Oh, <laughs> far from done. <laughs> That's okay with you. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I don't even know where to begin here. This, this <laughs> is insane. This is beyond insane. <laughs> For context, so I would make this a separate video. I'm we are up here, here more. to get uh, monkey kid sets. Do you, do you want that monster? That's not the one. Maybe I'll we'll come back another time. Hey, and check out. Justin's going to do a full tour, as I was going to say. So you can check out Justin's <laughs> full tour if you want to see everything, everything. Everything, but everything. I'll show you the cool stuff, you know, the highlights. No, okay. But yeah, it is. I'm, 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 I'm looking at these right here. <laughs> like the castle, the castle. Yeah, out of the box yellow castle. The, but I mean, the thing, I mean, that looks good. To, you know what I mean? Like you can see the condition of it, which I think is nice. I like versus that. like eBay listings where it's kind of tough to tell. Yeah. Oh my God, this is, this is beyond what I could have Oh my gosh. I just, they have, I might buy the freaking space shuttle. Oh. The one that you got for. Yes. I don't even want to know. I don't want to I, I, I won't say it, but. Yeah. Actually, I do want to know how much you get. 50. Oh, that's, Sealed. That's right. That's, <laughs> that's the word the cheese go guy. Hey. 
And that's sealed, that's right? That's a nice, yeah, that's a nice one. This seems like 15 a bucks. Set. I will prob honestly, I will probably buy that, that for 15 like bucks. A classic Again, I'm review. just like really happy that this place isn't like overpriced or anything because whenever I see older sets at conventions, it was overpriced. Oh, really and I'm cool. talking about like three and one Star Wars celebration, stuff like that. Oh my gosh. Okay, See? Ryan's getting way ahead, and I'm like, this is like, I'm like, I want that, I want that, I want that. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Let's, let's, okay, so some sealed sets. This is right to the left when you enter the store, and I'm just like, okay, so this one is pre owned, uh, open. If that was sealed in like 150, I'd buy that on a second. You see, this one is sealed. No price tag though, but I do own two of those. I want to get that. I haven't seen that bundle before. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I saw this one, what, in Japan? I think it's the old Power Miners. Oh. Even Galaxy Squad. This one I'm always trying to get on eBay because I call it the Twitch vehicle. So uh, I wonder if they do have some of the prices. I'm kind of curious for some of these sealed ones. And like, I don't usually like buying used Lego sets, but these are like, like you can see they they, they clean them and stuff like that. Like something like that's pretty tempting. Lots of out of the box stuff over here. Action themes and such. Space stuff. City and town. That's the one that Ryan was talking about. No, actually, that's different from the one I got because I got the system one. That's the Legoland one. Some city stuff. Um, but they had some older ones. I've been on a little bit of a city kick. Ooh, I almost bought this recently. I mean, okay. Kind of curious for these prices, like I said. Lego board games. Oh, Pro Lego Channel is going to like that Heroica. <gasps> Ah, oh, Century Airport. Oh, stuff like that, I am. Is it empty? No, it seems sealed. Okay, I'm gonna have to ask about those. Again, there's so much, like, I know I, I, I try to show everything. I don't wanna gloss over anything, but there's a lot. We don't have too much more time to spend here, so. Sorry if it's a little sped up. Look at the Bionicle stuff, though. This is, <laughs> as Brian said, LJ's dream. My gosh. Tons and tons of Bionicle. Some custom Pokemon. Storage stuff. And the promo. <gasps> oh, this is base plate plate Palooza. Basically my heaven. I love base plates, but raised plates. Like I always wanted those when I was younger, but I didn't have I think any sets with raised plates. And here they're selling them for like 20 bucks cleaned and stuff. Uh, might cop one because, oh. oh, this one's from Dragon Fortress, right? Which is like the adventurous that I really want. That's from like the World City Coast Guard or something like that. Oh my gosh, so many. And then I got some uh, Chima, Ultra Agents, Power Miners, lots of Chima figures. Pricing five bucks for each. Hmm. I don't know how they retail for that much. Some sealed uh, bamboo. Might be cool to get some of those classics. Uh, over here, looks like they have some sealed hidden yeah. side. They have, uh, oh, they even have some Ninjago spinners. That's from uh, the fidget spinners, or whatever they are. And I'm on a little bit of a Ninjago kick. I'm kind of curious about some of the prices of these. 
So we got the green energy dragon. A lot of sealed superhero stuff. You can see some of these older ones like 2014 Avengers ones, 2014 X Men, uh, Doctor Strange. What is that, 2015 Spider Man? Ooh, a three in one from like Costco. That's kind of dope. More sealed Ninjago. Ooh, uh, bookstore and diner. More Marvel stuff. And we're not even like halfway done with this store, so this is crazy. Ooh, they even have some old Spider-Man. This is a little polymer from Age of Ultron. Two face chase. Some customs, it seems. Custom there. And Batman vehicles, lots of DC stuff. You could hear Pro Lego Channel and, uh, and our production just negotiating in the back. I don't know what that's all about. And Lego Movie 2 stuff, even Star Trek I went. Oh, 10 bucks, that's not bad at all. Some Nexo Knights, Chima Sealed, Ichima Polyback don't have now, no, no. I, I, I didn't think I would buy anything from here, but now I'm. <laughs> That was before I stepped in. <laughs> the moment before I stepped in. Now I'm like, I want that, I want that, I want that, I want that. How much is that? Uh, it seems like more DC stuff. Dang, they have a lot of DC stuff. Oh, I think Ryan's pointing out like what Star Wars stuff he has. <laughs> Dimensions galore. Any rare ones? Oh, my God. <gasps> They have this one right here, which uh, I remember Pro Lego Channel was telling me how that's like the cheapest license figure you can find. I've been kind of craving some Team NT, so they have that sealed. I mean, it says pre-owned for 80. Mm, I could probably get a sealed for 80, so I don't know about that. Hmm. One of my favorites. Nice to see that there. Some, ooh, some Lord of the Rings and Hobbit. This place is so freaking cool. Probably a lot. I'm just gonna guess a lot. Some cars. So I guess the ones that don't say certified pre-owned are sealed. I'm missing some over here, some Jurassic World. I can imagine that one's probably a lot more than you would expect. Oh my gosh, all these empty boxes of CMFs, that's awesome. Even the Scooby-Doo Lighthouse and Pirates of the Caribbean posters. Oh, they have some... Team and T and oh, I think that's the Vikings dragon. That is pretty cute. Just got that Prince of Persia. Again, sorry I can't zoom in on all these prices. It's just take way too long. But uh, Diva, Zerg, Toy Story classics. Let's see, they have Twitch. <gasps> they do have Twitch. Nice. SpongeBob. Oh, what they got? The uh, last Airbender set for two hundred. That's open. Even though that looks like it's in very good condition, so that's pretty good. But uh, yeah, we're lucky to get that on that one list thing. Ooh, Harry Potter. So much, so much. I have Hungarian Horntail. Sealed. That's probably a lot, but. I mean, that's one from when I was younger. That one I might ask about, because that's the only night bus I'm missing, and I could do like a little night bus comparison or something. Ooh, this one I had growing up, but oh, maybe I'll ask for that one. It's still sealed, though. It looks like it has tape on the side. 
for Star Wars. I guess maybe this is the start of Star Wars. Gonna happen, but right, I even get to the Star Wars section. So much. Oh man, a lot of sealed stuff. That's a better good view of it. Oh, better view of it this way. The Tie Fighter collection. There's a few. Uh, 2011, Flame One or 2010 is looking good. There's your view. Um, and stuff like that. Probably ain't the time to get them. Some Gen Ersos, of course, because who doesn't have Gen Ersos? Wow, that's more Star Wars. 25, not bad. I could, no, uh, that's one's pretty young. I, I could use that one sealed. <laughs> I, I had that one the battle when I was younger. Panto for 300. Oh gosh, Vader's tired of Vader's, hey, your audio's cutting into mine. Oh no, yeah, well, the whole time I heard you guys negotiating or. <laughs> I thought you were negotiating or something in the back. I was like, what, Ryan? Assassin's Droid. We're negotiating. I'm trying to get Derek to buy me a prize. <laughs> for good behavior. Oh, okay. I'm trying to keep him Ooh. in business. He's that trying to sealed. Yeah, that's that sealed. sealed. I, How much is it? Couldn't find the price tag, but I'm that's it. I think all the sealed stuff, I don't think they have the highest. I'm looking for um, anything sealed. This stuff's all sealed. Or a lot of this stuff right here is sealed. It has prices. Well, yeah, but look, look. If it says certified pre owned, that means it's open. I know that means yeah. it's open. But, like, this on the bottom will have the price. Oh, on the bottom. Bo okay, so bottom. Okay, okay. Yeah. That's it. The bottom's the secret. Okay. But I couldn't find it on that Falcon. So oh, okay, okay, okay. I so. don't actually know on that one. All right. So. Original. And by the way, that, that shuttle pack. set over there is yeah. not the one I own. I own the Lego system one, so that right. one's rare. Right, okay. You know. hmm. but, yeah. Interesting. Lots of Star I need Wars. That, but I'm getting it from Charm City. Oh man, there's so Ryan's much. probably has a more in-depth Star Wars. Did you get this channel. from yet? That? Oh no, I, I did. You ordered one. Yeah, yeah, I did. So I got a pretty good deal on that one too. Did it come in? No, like no. I said, it didn't come in. Uh, hmm. How much like is that? Sixty sealed. Mm. Not nice. Holly bags. Hmm. Oh, you want more in-depth so on Star Wars? Go check out Ryan's channel and our productions. This will be on the vlog. Oh, it'll be on our vlog? This is just... That's the mystery box. It's just going to be like 15 minutes of me gushing over all this Dude. crap. <laughs> There's so much. Oh. This might be like, uh, I guess, the non-Lego section? Oh, this is... They don't talk about this section on the website. <laughs> it's forbidden. This no, let's... The forbidden section. Oyo Sports over here. That. Which one? Family Guy Mega Construct. Oh, yeah, I forgot they had that. Oh, you wonder if they have the Pirates of the Caribbean Mega Bloks. Those are the only ones I actually care about seeing, not owning, but. That would be, heck, that would be an interesting I comparison. I forgot those even existed. I could go for some of that. Bendy, of course, that's the target trash. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> a lot of Star Wars figures. Some Creo. Those are actually kind of cool. Hey, oh, this yellow is Yellow Summer Moon Creo. The, uh, the uh, Inquisitor mask there. That's kind of cool. Uh oh, we got I some like classic that. figures. Hmm. I guess not. G.I. Joe. That's what Greg needs. <gasps> send I'm going to send him a picture of that. Yeah, definitely. Like, There's even some custom figures over here for a G.I. Joe. Picture of that. Where? Right here. Uh oh. Yeah, those look trashy, but. <laughs> yeah. Oh. I like that one. Oh, that one's kind of cool. Yeah, that one's kind of cool. Alright, so. I'm not going to focus too much on the other oh, stuff. <gasps> Space plate palooza. I saw the raised plates over there and I was freaking out. Is this a, a what? Is that a that's a forty eight by forty eight white base plate? Do those what? even exist? That's is not a Lego. A, Wait, yeah, it is. That is a. Where does it come? What set is it? Forty come? bucks. So. Uh, I, it's gotta come in some sort of rare. Okay, that that. Oh, gosh, that is tempting. How much is? They don't have the green one though. <gasps> they have the blue one. Let's see. I care so much. Forty. Oh shoot! Oh, that's gonna be fun. I'll be there in a bit. I'll be there in a bit. Yeah, two by sixes. 48 by 48 base plates, like, that's pretty awesome. Oh my gosh, this is some custom we got going on here. Wow. This is freaking beautiful. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at this. Isn't that from Rocket Ride or I think it's from the uh, boating school? Uh, but this is a really cool mock on this flag. Just mock this flag like there's a bunch of mocks. They even have the this is incredible sign, that's awesome. Oh I love this. 
Do you want to be in it? Sure, yeah. Okay, yo, what's, what's going up? going on? <laughs> hey, I'm doing a tour of it. It's nice to finally meet you, man. Yeah, man, good to meet you. Hey. Hey. How often do you come here? So I was actually here uh, January, I want to say, uh, before all the craziness went down. Oh, and here's Ryan. Brian hey, Ryan. Ryan. Yeah. Of my fan club. Yes, that's correct. <laughs> <laughs> that is correct. Where can we find your YouTube channel if you want to check out? Ryan's Bricks. I'm trying go. to start uploading again. Uh, just being in quarantine, I'm like, what else am I gonna do? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Oh, where's? Oh, there you go. This is our friend Brian. These words of advice. What's up? Do I? you. Good to meet you, man. Oh, no. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Sorry. Yeah. I should have done that. I'm sorry. Already broke his touch. Yeah, we did. Oh god. Okay. Justin, you can't come back with us. All right. Don't worry. I've been in quarantine for two months. I haven't. Touched okay. anyone? <laughs> okay, okay. I'll keep this hand clean. Don't that's worry. That's right. Okay. That's right. But, so is this uh, your first time here? Yeah, I've never, I've never been here. I, I went, I went like this all yeah. around. But oh yeah. So I'm gonna touch this area if you want to show around or whatever. Yeah, I mean, so me and my buddy come here all the time. I trade in a bunch of stuff. Like, I mean, I've brought collections in before. I don't know whose this is, but that's massive. But just trading in new stuff and uh, getting. The older sets which is what i really like that's so. cool so it's 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 like gamestop where you could trade it in Basically, for money yeah. and the good thing about them like i don't say this to shill but like legit they give good prices on trading i was i was gonna say the prices here on the stuff is like actually yeah. good prices to buy yeah chris is my favorite to deal with he uh he he's the co-owner mm -hmm. he uh he gives like bricklink prices on sets i for, love that for trade-in value okay um, if you get cash it's obviously less but so yeah i'll bring in like a bunch of sets that i don't want anymore and get bricklink prices and then swap it out for some other sets yeah like I, i'm i don't sell lego sets but like if this was near me i would consider getting yeah. rid of some of them to yeah, like it's, trade in for other stuff this is awesome it's also just cool to come look around and just see all the <laughs> stuff they have like i love it I and love i it. i love base plates so like oh, i was already looking over here dude like, i was literally over there looking at the raised the raised plates. plates i dude i was That's freaking out with the raised base plates oh because yeah. i was trying to rebuild the dark forest fortress the the old like dark yeah. forest set dark uh, oh is that the the forest men it's one of the forest men sub themes yeah mm -hmm. so they it's use like a raised plate in it? It's a really expensive raised base plate. Really? Um, Do they not so have it? They had a bunch. And so I brought in a bunch of, like, hey. of stuff. But I was like, yeah, I'm trading in something in to get that. So, <laughs> awesome. Yeah, yeah I saw set. I saw a 48 by 48 white base plate for 40, which was tempting. I didn't know what set came with a 48 by 48 white base plate. I don't plate. know. I've never seen a white one. Yeah, look at this. I, I have one of these gray ones. I, I want to say I know a set that comes with the blue, but yeah, I don't know what comes with the white. Yeah, yeah. this one is... Uh, green i think that came with the carousel yeah yeah the, the collector they have up the carousel, there yeah yeah oh my gosh i want to just buy some of these base plates you know dude like, i wouldn't blame you <laughs> 14 black tron base plates <gasps> oh gotta my love gosh. it <laughs> yes. love all these tans it just makes me want to do like a western build or something oh yeah oh that's that's uh 16 by 32 tan right yeah oh, that's yeah, like yeah. a classic one because that was in, that was in a lot of and adventures dude. and adventures eh? i spongebob had a few yeah. yep i got that they've got these enchanted oh. islanders ones dude they have got the other raised base plate one really with it yeah is this do they have the one i had the one of these that was tan and my brother and i would always use that because my mom got it for us for christmas oh once. the the bandit one yeah that was probably it i think there it is oh wait 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 <laughs> it was the river one it was a river one it had okay. a river it was okay. i think it was a might have been the Native American one, but I'm not entirely okay, sure. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what Ooh, you're talking some about. Some red base plates? Fancy. Oh, I love red base plates. I never find them. What is, what even is the dimensions on that? Is that a 32 by 32? Yes. Oh, okay. I don't I'm, know what came with that. <laughs> 32 by 32 red. I think some old, old homemaker sets came with oh, Did homemaker have the ones that were, I don't know, but... I wouldn't be ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know yeah. What you're talking about. I wouldn't be scooping up a few of those. I guess I'll, I'll probably show the whole maybe in this video or maybe in a separate video, but Yeah. So much, so much, so much. It really is crazy. <laughs> let me see the friends section. Okay. My favorite section. Here, let me, hey. let me give you. Yeah, you got to give me a tour. <laughs> this is my favorite section. <laughs> Do they have every mini doll ever? <laughs> Dude, they've got it. <laughs> I mean, look at this. Oh, they even have some of the advent calendar ones, which are the more rare ones. I will say though, you and me share a love for Paradiso, which is hey. far off. <laughs> Dude, I saw one Paradiso thing. I was a little disappointed. Really, that's all they have. That was uh, uh, that was the only Paradiso thing I saw okay. in the whole store. I'm like, oh, come on, Paradiso yeah. is the best. It's really hard to find. I, I got most of mine on eBay. Yeah, yeah. mini doll esque sets. It's so over here. All right, I'm gonna go grab the sets. Over here. All right, all right. Yeah. Sounds good. Sounds good. It's a, it's a bright cup. Sorry, I got Wow. <laughs> Some sealed friends, and it seems like somebody's. You could just sell your collection here, like Ryan was saying, which is awesome. And 
Yeah, sorry about the mess here. This is a, we just got all this in today. Oh yeah, no, it's it's fine. It's 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 this is definitely a collection it's, from like one all, person or. Yeah. Holy crud! So they just were like unloading it with everything. Yeah, the we've got a UCS, the original UCS Star Destroyer in here, <gasps> oh. and there's an original UCS Millennium Falcon in here, and they're, they're original boxes. That's wow! That's impressive. Yeah. <laughs> I like that Jabba's palace. Do you have a Jabba's palace sealed? No. No. Okay. This is a fire pilot for Yeah. Lots of base plates. And it seems like over here is just where you could basically pick a brick cup. They just have tons and tons of trays of bricks. Some other interesting base places. Uh, those are not official, but uh, yeah, when they have, they have a purple base plate, but still pretty cool. If you don't mind custom stuff, I mean, look at these cool patterns and everything. Oh, is that Monopoly? Hey, that's that. That's tempting. That's a really cool custom. Made in Atlanta, Georgia. Look at that. There's the Monopoly one. Okay, that's awesome. The Momocon one. Hey, they're selling an old uh, seal base. Huh? I'm going to try to get some red. I didn't see any brown base plates. I'll, I'll look for some. I'm going to get some red, brown, and black base plates. I'll have those. Tons and tons and tons of pieces. And... There's Brian uh, selling his stuff. So, I don't even know if you buy instructions on the right But I do so because I'm in this amazing. At the front. Yeah, actually need cast instructions in the business for classic. So, that's what I'm leaning towards. So, Jurassic World is still getting a lot of the classic. Yeah, yeah, that's just like the light save instructions. Yeah, 40 bucks. Yeah. This is back to the front over here. I mean, I hope I covered it all. Uh, there might be some stuff over there. Actually. I might have to take a look. Looks like they have some poly bags behind the glass. I guess these are the more rare poly bags if you want to buy any. Um, none that I need because I love collecting rare poly bags, but still pretty interesting. Oh, Silver Centurion sealed for 45 bucks. <laughs> but hey, Amazing Spider Man Electro for 10. And there's some more sets right over here, but they're. Sorting out a collection, so I don't want to get in the way too much social distancing too. And over here, some more stuff. I guess that's where the magic has been, so sorting it and everything. Series nine? Yeah. I didn't get these earlier, so let me get some more footage. I didn't see all these different. I didn't get it. I did. This is the literally last corner. I did not get. Okay. And all of these dinosaurs. Dinos. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Yeah, and they also sell Pokemon cards here, apparently. Kind of interesting. <laughs> and oh, this was on this side as well. And look at these retro shirts over here. That's another thing that's tempting to buy. <laughs> I like that. Brian is really making me want base plates more and more because he shares a love for raised plates and everything, just like me. Poolside Paradise, one for 20 bucks. That's so dab dang. Okay, I might just be like, okay, I got a hundred bucks to spend in this store. Let me spend a hundred bucks worth of stuff and limit myself there or else I'm going to buy like a billion things. I think we could uh, <sighs> really have a good YouTube. Uh, so many base plates. Oh, Century Airport is 500 sealed. But it uh, doesn't have the Lego City logo in there. I want that one with the box with the Lego City logo, but I don't even know if they've ever produced a version of that. I've only seen that in like an official image. I remember I wanted that a lot when I was younger. Uh, not anymore. I'm waiting, so apparently Brian was saying that a lot of the prices are at the bottom. I'm probably gonna buy this. Like, you know, I haven't really bought an old Bionicle sealed. 15 bucks for this guy. I don't remember this. What year was this? 2006. So, you know, I'll, I'll give it a chance. I mean, it's a beat up box, but Jack and Sally for 30 bucks. This usually goes for 60, so that's actually a really good deal. So I'm gonna rewatch the movie soon. I Look know at I'm you. Gonna, I know I'm gonna want them. The poly bags are for Jared. It's true. Hey. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. So he said he watched some of my stuff, and I was like, oh my gosh, that's you should awesome. Go follow him. <laughs> Subscribe, people. <laughs> <laughs> and this is all my. This is my hole over here. Well, not the Overwatch stuff, but I got a bunch of base plates and a Bionicle one. And. Uh, Knights Kingdom Hollywood. I just finished going to the Atlanta Brick to Co. Home. And this was a fantastic the store. Is circled, then turn right. Thank you, Siri. Now, if you guys are ever in Atlanta, We're totally not leaving right now. Go check out this store. Good all intro. right.
So for context, that was filmed all about a week ago, a little bit over a week ago, when we went to Georgia to get the Monkey Kid set, and we went to Atlanta Brick Co. if you didn't catch that. But I wanted to show my haul once again from that store. The Atlanta Brick Co. was a fantastic experience, and I urge you guys to check it out if you're a Lego fan and you're near Atlanta, Georgia. The first thing I got was this 48 by 48 white base plate, which I think is a non-production part, like regularly. This was apparently given to them by like a master builder or something. So I ended up spending 40 bucks on this, but I love rare pieces and I think that's worth it. I love big base plates as well. You're gonna see a lot of base plates in this haul as you got a peek of at that uh, video. And other base plates I got included a 32 by 32 red base plate. This is the one that they use for the palace cinema. I think that's the most recent occurrence of it but it's also been used uh, quite a bit in the past. I got a 16 by 32 black base plate, which this one cost me like 20 to 30 bucks. I forgot the specific price. Actually, it might've just been 20. And this is one that was only in the monorail space set. So very rare one to get. They had two of them there and I just got the one with better condition. And we ended up cleaning them just so mom helped out. We have the 16 by 32 brown base plate. Forget where this is from specifically, but I believe it's a ninja set that I might have, or that might be another base plate in this haul. This was uh, the, I think, homemaker base plate or something like that, where you have this kind of a interesting uh, surface in the middle and then just studs all around. This costs uh, six bucks because it is pretty scratched up if you see, but still, Pretty interesting blue base plate that was relatively cheap. I didn't want to pass out on it. And then the last of the base plates is 16 by 16 brown base plate. This one I think is used in one of the ninja sets I own. This costs three bucks because it is bent if you look closely. Still, I like brown base plates. That's like something that's pretty useful and it was relatively cheap. So I thought I might as well get it. Anyways, four more things for the haul that aren't base plates. I got two non-production part plates, two by six translucent colors. These have never appeared in sets in these colors. The owner there gave it to us for free. Super, super nice guy. And these are something I'll cherish. I saw one of them was going to on Bricklink for 30 bucks and then the other one is just not even on Bricklink. Not gonna sell these whatsoever. Putting these into the rare parts collection, awesome, awesome, awesome. They were so nice there. Just please go visit it if you're in Atlanta, Georgia. There's also this nice Kingdom poly bag, which I try not to buy too much Knights Kingdom because even though it's kind of nostalgic to me because I got a few sets when I was younger, I never really cared for it. It's one of my least favorite castle themes. Even Knights Kingdom 1 from 2000 is like another really bad castle theme in my opinion. But I want to get this version of Jayco's, what, eight bucks? Meh. And then my first Bionicle set in a very long time. I never see Bionicle for cheap. This was sealed and cheap. And it's a miniature version or a... Looks like, I think, uh, the brown Bionicle or something from the first wave, which was nostalgic to me. So I ended up getting it. I think this one's from 2006, though. So let me know if you guys want to see a LEGO Bionicle review. But So just the biggest thanks to Atlanta Brickco, a phenomenal place. I'm glad they're not overpricing on their LEGO sets. And I'm glad that they have deals. Like if you bring in empty Lego boxes, you could sell it to them for a dollar, which is awesome. And thanks to Purest for cleaning up this uh, tour video a bit. Thanks to Justin Mom for cleaning up these pieces. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out. Bye.